Hello, I'm Entrilisium and I'm doing a five minute review for the Goddess Beta. Uh, right, there's lots of clicking involved, like you click on these trees and you click on these rocks and they disappear. And there's a guy about to die over there because I haven't clicked on him. Um, for some reason you have to click on these trees three times and the rocks twice and to disappear. Because, you know, clicking once isn't, isn't enough uh, in this day and age. One click is just too easy, so, you know, got to make sure you click on enough times. Uh, oh, that guy's died because I didn't click on him. And you click on these to get belief. Belief is the main sort of resource in the game. Uh, pretty much the only real resource in the game. And you get it from buildings that people live in. It just pops up occasionally. You've got to click them to get the belief. So, later on, you've got some more stuff. And you're still clicking on stuff. And you find a treasure chest. You open the treasure chest. And I get timber. I have to wonder why it's in a treasure chest and not from the trees I demolished. Because I seem to get belief from them instead. You can see belief popping up there. Anyway, when you've got an even bigger place and you've got all this belief, you just sit there staring at it and going... I've got to click on all of these to get belief, to get more currency. Why do I have to click on... why? Feels very much like a cheap Facebook game. And there's, there's getting these chests out of the ground, like you, you move the ground away and you carefully try to get to the chest and... The problem is you, you can't, you have to physically dig the entire chest out, you can't just see the top of it. And you get like clues about where the chests are by these little bits of card or whatever flying above them. But then you've got to be able to get all the way to them. Now these could be under a settlement. They could be miles and miles and miles underground. And it costs you belief to dig them out. So it's, this mechanic is just incredibly annoying. Um, more timber, yay, because there's not enough freaking trees around that I've destroyed. And you see here we've got some cards sort of over there flying around or money or whatever it is. Indicating there's a chest and uh, I'm going to dig. Yeah, and I'm going to keep digging. At least you can click and drag now, that's a nice thing at least. Right, and, and I found the chest. It was only like 10 freaking feet underground, very far from the edge. And I found some flint, because you know, it's the only place you find flint is in the, the chest. And then back to more belief collecting, because, you know, for the first two, three, four hours of the game, well, two hours of the game, you've got to keep collecting belief by clicking on it. Now this game's also been developed for tablet at the same time, and I'm getting the feeling that it really isn't designed for PC at all. It just happens to be on PC at the same time, and it's just a tablet game. Because clicking is a mechanic, it's not a main engaging aspect. I don't really know what's going on there. Anyway, let's go to the map of the gods and have a battle, because uh, that's that's one way you can do multiplayer and so on. And it's very strange that in the beta, uh, I think the beta is sort of a copy of the single player in effect, you've got this weird bot pretending to be some sort of chat person in real life pretending like X Amy X. So hi there, oh hi, looks like a winner gets a card lol. Um, why? Th this game is now beginning to feel like it actually really wants to be a Facebook game, like it thinks that Facebook games are the pinnacle of all games. Like, she's sending me a request with a picture. It... The more I've played this game, the more it makes me think this game really wants to be a Facebook game that you have to pay $20 for. Oh, and that has a uh, microtransaction store in it, but isn't on Facebook. I... Now, this is a battle, and it's very similar to the normal thing. You make houses, you get people. When you've got enough people, you can go and attack them. And half the time when they're attacking, they will be build houses where you've knocked down the enemy's houses. Um, so you can see it here, they're, they're anti-mining the other houses. Now, this could just be it's a beta thing. They will actually have some sort of attacking mechanism later on. So I'm cool with that. But a lot of the mechanics are click around. You can see I'm healing guys there by clicking on them. And now I've unlocked this um, settlement thing which will collate all the belief around it in a certain area. So instead of having to clicking you just have to wait. And then click once on the big belief ball. But it doesn't reach everywhere and the next settlement costs 7500. Anyway, moving on to the subject of the microtransaction store, you can see there is no shop. And one of the developers put on the, the Steam forum, there is no shop. But the problem is when people ask, well, is there going to be a shop? This thing looks like it's going to be a shop where you have to pay real money. Is there going to be a shop in future? Will there be a shop? And uh, looking through a load of posts, Peter Molyneux has actually commented saying, right, well, I'm going to balance it so that the shop's not necessary. It won't be available in multiplayer. Uh, it's just for people who want to cheat. See, I remember the time when cheating didn't cost money. I know it's in beta, but the core mechanic is clicking on things, and it's turned into the central theme of the game with very little actual player agency, then I find it definitely boring. I've been Elysium, like and subscribe, catch you guys later.